Metrology is defined as the science of measurement. To make accurate measurements, high, preci high precision combined with minimised bias is required. Both aspects need to be considered, as high precision alone could be misleading. Once, when making my favourite red velvet cupcakes, I mistakenly added a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon of salt. Whilst I had precisely added three times the required amount, my salty cupcakes were un unappetising, to say the least. Such bias can have more serious consequences, such as taking an inappropriate dose of a drug. Two students recently ended up in intensive care after ingesting 30 grams of caffeine instead of 0.3 grams for an experiment. That's around 300 cups worth of coffee. The calculation error allegedly arose due to lack of training and poor planning. This is a story highlighting the importance of rigorous experimental design and how accurate measurements protect people. In microbiology, the reliability of techniques for detecting and quantifying pathogens can be maintained through calibration with standardised reference materials. Whilst microbiological standards do exist for bacterial detection and viral quantification, they are rare. Improved measurement accuracy, <coughs> excuse me, improved measurement accuracy through rigorous calibration can assist with setting diagnostic thresholds and monitoring patient responses to treatment. My PhD explores the role of metrology in microbiology. Part of my research addresses the impact of qPCR calibration on the quantification of HIV DNA. qPCR is a precise method for measuring nucleic acid that requires calibration to quantify target sequences. Quantification of HIV DNA could permit better monitoring of the latent viral reservoir, a current barrier to elimination of HIV. I applied an absolute method for measuring nucleic individual copies of nucleic acid, known as digital PCR, or DPCR, to a cell line used to calibrate HIV quantification of DNA. Digital PCR revealed instability in three different sources of the cell line that can bias qPCR measurements. By using the, value assigned, the, the digital PCR value assignment of the calibrators for qPCR, this led to excellent harmonisation of results between the three calibrators. In other words, the absolute measurements afforded by digital PCR allow us to minimise bias from the calibrator that can impact qPCR, leading to more accurate measurements of HIV DNA. This could contribute to improving patient outcomes and quality of life, perhaps through enabling them to take a shorter course of antiretroviral treatment. The principles of metrology in this context can be applied not only to microbiology, but can improve measurement of cancer biomarkers, certify drug safety, and ensure that our food is safe to eat, and hopefully contains the right amount of salt. Thank you very much.